Hi moms and dads and a warm welcome to another episode of Today's Parent where we connect you with experts and provide you with information to make your parenting journey a bit more easier. I'm your host Christine Casina. In today's episode we are going to do something fun. We are going to do a bit of arts and crafts, something you can learn from to make you know the holidays a bit different. Make cards for your loved ones, treasured memories and mementos something you'll remember in the years to come. In studio today, we have Faith Kiyoko of The Hundred Life, who's going to take us through a few things we can make with our kids, that they're going to have fun, that, that is going to make them creative and make these memories that matter. Welcome to today's show. Faith, Yes. how are you today? Fine, thank you. Yeah? Yeah, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. Yeah. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Yeah. The festive season you know, is around the corner. We yes. are in the festive season. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one thing that we normally do, we go yeah. to the supermarket yes. to buy cards. Yeah. And these are things you know, we can, a few here and there, we can try and make at home. Yes. So you're going to take us through. I know you are, you are an arts and crafts teacher. Yes, I am. And the one thing you're passionate about is empowering us and making us you know, adopt that lifestyle where we make things with yeah. our kids. Yes. So what are you going to take us through today? Uh, so I'm very excited about today because Christmas is just a wonderful time to make things. It's exciting, you have a theme to work with, materials are not so hard to find, and you get to use the things you make functionally for the holidays. So I'm very excited because today we're going to do some cards and some tree decorations. All right, so yeah. some cards and tree decorations. Yes. Right. Mm. So these are very simple activities that you can do with your kids, something that they can show everyone, that they can put up in the house and they can gift people, which I think is always just such a bonus when you get something handmade over yeah. the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to explain your business name, Handmade Life. Yes, yes, because we very like to cool. make handmade things. Yes. Very cool, mm. very cool. So what are we starting with? So we're going to start with some ornaments. These are very simple. This any three-year-old can do. Three to six year old. All that do is cut out a shape of a star and then you can hang it on your tree. Okay. And it looks like a wonderful Christmas decoration. Beautiful. Yes. So Beautiful. today we're going to start with that for the three year olds. So maybe four to five, we can make something that looks so, uh, closer to a tree that they can put their own spin on. So this is something very simple that you can just hang on your tree and everyone can say, you know what? I made that. The kid can say I made that for the holidays. And I think it's, it's, it's very cute. I don't know if you feel the same cute. way. <laughs> yes. So that was, that's the first thing we're going to start with for the younger kids. Okay. For the older kids, they might want something a little bit more challenging. So we have this ornament. It's like a 3D ornament that can hang on your tree as well. Did you call it a 3D ornament? Yes. Beautiful. Because it has dimension. So I'm going to call it a 3D ornament. <laughs> Is it the one you put on top of the tree? You can put it on top of the tree or you can also put it on the side ah, to hang. Okay. So whichever way okay. you feel like works better for you. Okay. And how exciting is it if you get a card from someone and they can be like, I made this for you, especially for you. And they're handmade. And they're handmade. And they're so simple to make. As you can see, this is just like a really simple, cute, like uh, ornament in a card to say, you know, Merry Christmas, have a wonderful holiday. And this any seven to above can make. Right. So it's very simple and easy to make. Here is another one of boxes that you can, you know, you can show to someone and say, you know what, Merry Christmas, we got this for you. And I think it's very pretty as it's well. It's very pretty. Yeah. So Faith, yes. take us through the first thing we are making. Oh, so the first thing we're going to make is this uh, very nice glittery ornament. Mm -hmm. I feel like a star is very symbolic when it comes to ornaments. You just need to have stars on your tree. And we're also going to be making this little miniature tree for like our four or five year olds. Okay. So that's what we're gonna start with. Okay. Yes. So let's go ahead and make the star. Okay, so for starting with the star, we'll need some foam, some glitter foam. Okay. So this is some material, it's called normally foam. You can get it um, at textbook center or in town when you're looking for uh, material okay. stores. So textbook center, I say, is a, it's, a, it's a central place that you know you can find it. Right. So it looks like um, this. This is how the pack looks like. So it's a pack of foam. And it comes in several colors, so you can pick the color that works for you. So for today, we're gonna go with Christmas colors. You know what I like about it? it yes, it's already glittered, so you don't it's have to worry glitter. about that part. Yes, so okay. you don't have to deal with the mess of cleaning up with your glitter afterwards. So I'm just gonna give you uh, red, and I'm gonna pick green. Okay. So those are our Christmassy colors, and we're gonna make um, some stars. Okay. So the first thing you need is a template. So we'll flip the foam over mm -hmm. so that we can be able to draw over it and then take a pair of scissors and cut our stars. Okay. So it's as simple as that. <laughs> and for a template, you can print out a star template, but you know, most of the time you'll find you have something that's a star shape that in your like house. Yeah, like a cookie cutter or something like that. You can mm -hmm. just place over and draw your star okay. and cut it out. So I want us to do that. I brought some tem templates for us. Uh, good. So here is another foam star. You can just use that as your template. Right. And I can use a different one. 
I bought a set of markers because every crafter needs a set of markers. Why do you need the markers? <laughs> just to draw. You can draw with a oh. pencil or a pen, but what fun is that? You, you know, know what I wanted to do was just place this die and then cut round. That's another option. Okay. So you can cut round directly. So this is something that just takes a few minutes with the template. Last part. And I have a scar. Yes, and how simple was that? That was very, very simple. simple. I think the hardest part would have been then if you have to put glue and then you know put glitter. The glitter. It, yeah. That's easy. Yes. That's easy. So now the only the next thing we need to do is punch a hole. So you can use any regular paper punch okay. to punch a hole. So I'm just going to pick up paper punch. Punch a hole on one side of the star. This, this must be a very different kind of paper punch. You know, when you, when you talk about a paper punch, <laughs> we are used to the office paper punch. Paper punch. <laughs> this is actually also an office paper punch. It's it? just a single hole paper punch. It you can like get it at any stationery shop. Ah. Yeah. So when you go to the stationery shop, what do you ask for? A single paper punch. A single, a single hole. A single hole paper punch. Yes. Right. Yeah. There you go. Hmm. A little ribbon and you can hang it on your tree. Yeah. So I think that's a really nice fun activity you can do with very young children. Very nice. And they can do it uh, very quickly. So if you want to make it a little bit more complicated, you can use different materials and then put your own glitter. But if you just want to use regular paper, you can. Then they can color it so that the star can look like whatever they want it to look like. Okay. So I'm just going to pass you a piece of string that you can use. Thank you. To wrap, um, your, in, to put in your star. Cut this and get a string from it. I wonder with the new education system, is yes. arts and craft coming back? It is, it is. In fact, they they have a lot of holiday assignments. I know this that's, this that's season. Artsy. That's very artsy. That's yeah. That's good. So it's something that the kids are gonna be more comfortable with doing over time. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, and there you have it. So you can use it like that to try to tie it, or you can create a small little loop, something like this. this so is you nice. can just hang it on the tree. Very nice. Mm. So we can go ahead and put that on our tree. Oh, I've seen how you've done yours. Yeah. I did a single, a single knot. Yeah. Which is still fine, because <laughs> now you can tie it to the tree directly. Mm, da -da -da. Yeah. And there you go. There you go. Very nice. Those are very simple ornaments. Very nice. Yeah. And that you said a three year old can do that. A three year old can do that. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. With what just a making? bit of supervision on the scissors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are we making next? So, next is we have this tiny little tree that we are going to hang as well. Okay. So, this any four to five year old to six year old can make this. It's also pretty simple. We are going to use foam as well, but the foam we are going to use already comes in sticks. So, oh. it looks something like this. A pack of and this is sticks. also available at Textbook Center and any art. Do we have art, art shops, by the yes, way? Yes, we do have art shops. This, like for instance, I got this from Myra's Craft. It's at Sarit Center. Right. And they are already pre-cut in colors. And they have this in wooden pieces and foam pieces. Okay. So I say foam pieces for younger kids. But you can also do wooden pieces if you'd like to be a little bit more extra. <laughs> and you can paint their, your own wooden pieces. That's the beauty of it. So how many do I need? Three? You need two? three. You three. need three of these. Yeah. It has to be the same color. No, it can be different colors. You and can be green, as creative as you green. want. The tree <laughs> is green. Mm. I have three. Okay. So for this part, we're going to create a triangle shape. And then we're going to attach them together. You can attach this using a glue gun, if you have one at home. Okay. Which looks something like this. This is what a glue gun is. This I would recommend that parents glue for your children. Cause okay. Sorry. <laughs> They could burn themselves and 
we don't want that because you have to plug it in you have to plug it in to the electricity the electricity yeah but if you don't have a glue gun we can always use some tape so this is double sided tape a double sided tape very easy to use doesn't have to wait for it to dry and yeah. doesn't need parental control but this is usually the glue gun is usually faster so we're going to take a bit of tape I'm just going to cut small pieces so we are going to use the tape yes we're so going to use the tape, tape yeah right. for now we're going to use the tape because okay. it's more readily available and it's easier for parents to find this we're going to put uh, just a small piece at the corners of our triangles for two of them okay so not too For this you don't need much, just two pieces would be fine. Yeah, yeah it can get sticky. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So one there. Yeah. Another at the bottom. There. Yes. So it'll stick on your hand, but don't worry about that. I wonder if this was an interview for a new art teacher at your school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think your scissor is quite big for me. Let me take a small one for small. my small fingers. Uh, yes. Ah, fantastic. It works better. Absolutely. <laughs> So one on one side. Yes. Down there. Yes. That's it? Yeah, that's okay. all we need. So okay. maybe you can put the rest of the tape over here so you can use it for later. Yeah, there you go. So now we'll peel off our double sided tape and we're gonna take one of these and put it like this. Ah. Understand? Yeah. So you'll peel off one side. The paper is a bit thin. You don't need to eat more carrot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I can't even see where it starts and ends, by the way. It's a bit thin, so it's normally tricky to use at first, but once you get the hang of the tape, it's this quite is very different it's from the side. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I believe you have better eyesight, so I'll let you do it for me. <laughs> okay. And then I'll stick it. Yes. I mean, because you do this all the time, so that helps. Oh, I've seen, you know, it's very light, so you can't yeah. see, it's transparent when you remove it. Yes, it is, yeah. I expected <laughs> it to be white, that's why. Ah. Feeling like a genius already? <laughs> yes. So you'll stick the first side over here. Mm -hmm. Then now for the second part. How come I don't have a... It's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. It's, it's, you can still work with it. <laughs> so for this, you're just going to flip, remove. Um, then put the one for a cross. Yes, then put your one for a cross. So for you, you have to do it like this. Underneath. Ah, okay. Yeah. I used to love at, uh, arts and crafts in school. You know what we made during my time? Yes. I remember making a stool. Oh wow, that, that's very advanced. I loved it. <laughs> okay, guys, too, I that's it. very advanced. There so we, we have our triangle shape. So we have the base, of the, how our tree mostly is going to look like. Okay. So we're just going to add a bit of paper at the bottom. So I choose to use brown paper. Okay. You can use any brown paper you have. Okay, so let's, let's add the base and then we'll take a short break. Then when we come back, we can continue from there. Yes. Okay. So all you need is just a small square or a rectangle, whichever you prefer act as your stem so i've gone ahead and cut for you yours thank you very so much here you go we'll add some double-sided tape to that as well my small scissor yeah so you just put it on the edge Actually, I should put it and then I... Then you remove it, yeah? yeah. that's easier. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely easier. Remember what I like about us and crafts? You know, this is a very intimate way for you to connect with your child, eh? That's very true. 
you get to spend time with them as you make things yeah. get to know more about how they're doing and their life you know sometimes it's just so easy to let them watch tv that's true and do other things it's and like play with their friends out, eh? yeah and yeah. play with their friends and that's you could have true. an opportunity to bond with your child very true yeah. so make sure you put it at the center like that and we have our stem very nice yeah all right you're going to take a short break and then when you come back we can continue from there yes in today's episode of Today's Parent, we are having arts and craft fun with Faith Kyoko of Handmade Life. We are making Christmas decorations and if you have a Christmas tree in the house or you are planning to have one, this is a perfect opportunity for you to make decorations which are handmade and make exciting memories. We are going to take a short break. We'll be back right after this. back from the break and during the break Faith was showing me how to you know go about decorating this Christmas tree and yes. we've been having fun welcome back and as we continue Faith where yes. are we at so we added some pipe cleaners these are called pipe cleaners pipe cleaners yes they're normally used to clean pipes but they have become very really? popular with children yeah it's really pretty and they become very popular with kids and they used a lot during art projects so for this we're just gonna take our pipe cleaner it bends very well and just pass it through Oh. Pass it through and bend it, pass it through and bend it to have like that shape that makes it look more of like a tree. So as you can see, a nice zigzag pattern. I think I'm ready. Something like that? Yeah, something that like, like that. It looks, it looks wonderful. <laughs> So we have our Christmas shape. So for the white, it looks like a bit of snow. Yes. And that's great. And I use brown because we don't have snow here. So we're just going to go with brown. It's pretty. For it's us nice. as well. It is nice. And then we can add a few more sparkly decorations to make our tree complete. Okay. So for this, we're going to use some glitter paper. I have a small piece of glitter paper here. And we're going to go back to our paper punch to make those ah. tiny little circles. So you just punch many... And I'll let you punch some more as I get our glue. And those will make the little dots that we have on our Christmas tree to go. look like ornaments. Yes. So we're just going to open up the back there and remove those little circles that we are working with. There you go. Uh -huh. We even have red and green ones because we punched our form. So Very you can pretty. get yeah, uh, you can get some more alternative to that so we're just going to use some liquid glue to stick them so this might take a bit of time because the circles are really tiny is this a different kind of glue it's it's white glue it's just white office glue okay that you can also get at a, like a stationery shop okay yes so we're just going to put a little bit of glue like a, a dot oops and place it on our tree so don't worry if it's messy it dries clear <laughs> So you'll be able to see it once it's dried, the glue. Yeah, so we can do that to fill up the whole tree ah. with as many as you would like. Okay. Yeah. And how does the finished tree look like? So the finished tree will look like this. So as you can see, we just put the dots everywhere and I added a, a star at the top. The star you can use a sticker that. or yes, or any sticker that you would you can get that a star shape. Very nice. Yeah. Really, really nice. And there we have it. Very yeah. pretty. Yes. So this is said appropriate from age three years onwards. To like six years, yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. What are we going to make now? So we're going to start by making a card. So Christmas cards can be so easy to make and yet just have a special touch when you give them to someone. So we're going to start off by making this card. So this is our ornament Christmas card. We have another box one here, but for today we're going to make the ornament Christmas card. The ornament Christmas card. Yes. Okay. So what you need uh, to start with is a base, which is a card base. So for this you can use regular cardstock, which is a paper that looks like this. This you can also get a textbook center. All right. And or an then art shop you or an art shop okay. that you have a nearby near near you. So you start by folding it into half mm -hmm. and cut it into half. So let me fold and yes. then you can cut because clearly we have uh, <laughs> established you have steady hands. For cutting, yeah. <laughs> so you can fold it in half. There you go. Thank you. And cut it out. Then you're left with a paper that's A5 size. 
so, A5. Yes, so this is what we fold again to give us our card. So as you can see, you'll just fold it. And if you want to make it even prettier, you can go ahead and just round the corners to make it look something like this. Nice. So for now, I've already done this uh, card base that I've cut, and I, I think purple is such a pretty color. It is pretty. And that's what we're going to go with for today. Very, very nice. Yes, so the second thing you need is a circle shape. So for this, I already pre-cut a white circle shape. You can go ahead and do this in any color, even if it's glitter paper, if you want, whatever color you feel like you really like. So we'll start by putting uh, our, our paper there. So we find our center. Once we have our center, we want to draw a line because we want it to look like the ornament is hang hanging from somewhere. Right. So now that we know where our center is, we're going to take our marker. Thank you. And we're going to draw a straight line. Really? It's just as simple as that. <laughs> then we're going to create a little ornament top. You know the way the top of the ornament looks yeah. like? So it's a little bit of like a square. And just shade that in. Then we're going to take our circle. Put some glue or tape. I personally prefer to use tape. Okay. Because it's Why? just faster for me. <laughs> I find the glue to be faster. But the glue is also an option. <laughs> but which sticks for longer? Or it doesn't matter? Both. Both of them yeah. stick for longer. The glue okay. will just take longer to dry. Mm. And then we take our ornament. It's amazing how you do it so fast. <laughs> find our center and stick our circle right there. So as you can see, so that's how our together. ornament yes, looks nice. like. Very nice. So we have some little gems. Uh, you can get these that already have glue at the back, or you can get some that you can glue by yourself. Those are normally easier to find, but these you can find at any art store. So you'll just take a strip. I'm going to take this strip of white. Oh, it's white. a strip. It's not one one. Eh? You can cut them into, into one, one one. Some okay. are one one, some okay. are strips. And I'm going to randomly just place them on my ornament. So you can do as many colors as you want. If you'd like a pattern, you can go ahead and do that as well. Ah, so you just remove and stick, yeah? yeah? Just remove and stick. So this is so much easier because, you know, you, you don't have to sit down and glue each individual piece. <laughs> but the, the strip compared to 1-1, one, one, this one is not stripish, right? Yeah, that one is not a strip. It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, this is... A little bit, bit more challenging. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. And also, kids can make this over the holidays and sell to get some extra cash. Do you know? So it's a, it's a good incentive to give your children to be like, oh, you can make some cards and sell and have some holiday money. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. So it gives them that enterprise spirit to I, make things. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so far, I like how shiny it's looking. I feel like it looks, looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks very pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. So now the only thing that we're left to do is add a bow. There you go. And we're done. So if you can add a bow somewhere here, you can take a, you can give this as a card and it's you've just done it in a very short time. It so looks for, very pretty. Yeah, thank you. So for our bow, we're gonna use some ribbon. And this is a really neat <laughs> trick I want to show you on how to make a really nice tiny bow using a regular fork in your house. So you're gonna take your ribbon, wrap it around your fork. So it should have two sides. Okay. And this side should be the longer one. So Stretch one side it. long, one side short. Yes. So as you can see, it forms like a V-shape. And we're going to take that and put the strip in the middle of your fork. Like that. Wow. So it can start giving us a shape. And we take it to the top with the same way. And you just tie a knot. Just make sure it's nice and tight. If you want, you can tie a second knot. Where did you learn that? <laughs> YouTube is, you know, everything you can learn on YouTube these days. That is neat. Yeah, so you can cut off the excess. Sorry. Remove that, and there you have your cute little bow. That's very cute. To add onto your card. So we're gonna take some glue from the hot glue gun. I prefer to use a hot glue gun for this because it sticks faster and it dries much, much faster. And if somebody wants to get the glue gun, where do you get it from? Same places, art stores, right. textbook center. These days you can get them in the supermarket. It looks so like they're a hardware already. kind of. It does, <laughs> but you'll be surprised. There we go. Just remove that excess glue. That is nice. 
And you have your pretty little card. Very pretty. That you can give to people. Very, yeah. very pretty. So this is a craft the older kids would appreciate more, age 10 and above, because then they can get more creative with it. And for this, what we did with the boxes, the same concept, we just cut triangles, squares, wrapped them, and added up the bows. And you can see how simple that is. Ta-da! Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Phil. This has been Thank awesome. You. Thank you so much for coming through to show us how we can make these handmade ornaments and, you know, this beautiful card that we can gift our loved ones. Yes. This is definitely a different way of, you know, doing Christmas. We don't have to all the time go to the supermarket to buy a card yes. or the Christmas decorations. Yeah, thank you for having me. This was very fun and I always, I'm always excited to make handmade things and to show other people how to make handmade things. This has been exciting. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Today's Parent where we had faith of the handmade life. She has shown us how we can make Christmas decorations as well as Christmas cards something we can do different to gift our loved ones. I do hope you've enjoyed today's show and you're going to try out some of these ideas. I have been your host, Christine Casina, and this has been Today's Parent. We have been here in studio at Little Crips, the home of fun, exciting and durable kids' furniture. If you're looking for parenting information, head on to www.supermamas.co.ke for exciting episodes that you have missed of this show. Head on to Switch TV YouTube channel. It's been a pleasure having you and we look forward to having you next time.